people have this misconception about karate, exactly what karate is. Karate is primarily a grappling art. Why? Because the act of striking is a limited activity in a fight. What happens is somebody approaches somebody in an aggressive manner, tries to throw a punch, usually startle response happens. If the punch is not successful, which the majority of time it's not, it ends up into a standing tussling match or grappling match. There are those exceptions where the punch actually gets through, dazes somebody, they fall, somebody starts football kicking somebody in the face, stomping on their head. But for the most part, startle response happens and turns into a standing tussling or grappling match. My presentation of karate is taught in five parts. Punching, thrusting, striking, kicking, negotiation space, Tagumi, Okinawan grappling slash wrestling, which capitalizes off of the concept of Mushimi or a constant, loading, tripping, reaping, and sweeping, joint manipulation, pressure point application, muscle and tendon disruption, vital area attacks, and then Kabuto is my karate in its entirety. Beginner, intermediate, advanced. We use our minors to achieve our major. Tagumi, loading, tripping, reaping, and sweeping, joint manipulation, pressure point application, muscle and tendon disruption, and vital area attacks. Kabuto, minors, to achieve our major, punching, thrusting, striking, kicking. We employ a martial strategy as opposed to martial sporting context. We apply a martial strategy. Martial strategy is the intelligent use of our tools in order to quickly quell our opponent's ability to fight us. We don't fight, we address violence. The situation tells you what you need to do and the person tells you what they want you to do. Sin, no sin, which is early initiative or me just traveling a path, me deciding before the fight even happens where I'm going and me just traveling that path and then there's go, no sin. Me uh, reacting or being responsive to what you try to do. Baiting you into a punch and then traveling down a path to address that thing. Right now we're gonna go into a sin, no sin scenario. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna travel a path. My application of my art should provide me with an advantage, allow me to maintain that advantage, and ultimately exploit that advantage. Me recognizing that one out of every 10 people is left-handed means what? Majority of attacks are gonna come from right hand. Exactly, majority of my attackers are gonna attack me right-handed. So, I wanna Get away from that right hand. So as I'm standing here, talking, and you know, I'm like, oh, relax, relax, dude. Relax. All I'm gonna do is get in here and trap this. This arm. Hide my face behind your shoulder, which denies you the ability to hit me with your other hand. I have total control right now. This is called a bolt lock clinch, right? This is my negotiation space. Stand in here, I'm talking to you. Chill, that's all I want you to do, relax. Negotiation space. I have max opportunity, you have limited opportunity. While I'm here, right, and I step in, boom, you will, your body will rotate into this space right in front of me. See how you just went around? Mm -hmm. That your neck comes right here. And I don't want it to be this deep. Mm -hmm. See it? I want it to be this deep. Mm. You understand? So once again, notice how your body rotates. See it? How it rotated around? This ends up right here. Just like this. Not this deep. Mm -hmm. Right here. And then I place the back of my, or my forearm, right on your neck. And the back of my hand against your shoulder. Okay? 
right against your trap. Yeah. Good leverage there. Yeah, right there. This comes in. Boom. And then use either your cheekbone on the back of my head mm. or your forehead okay. and push my head forward as you pull up. Don't pull around like this, just pull up. You understand? What exposes his neck is the fact that when I pop his leg off, he puts his hands down to stop his face from hitting the ground. Gives me access to his neck, unrestricted access to his neck. Even if I do it, boom, and remain standing, he's still doing like this because he feels like he's falling. Right. So the context is going to determine the height. If I'm in the bar, bouncing, doing door security, I'm not going to drop down to the ground with him. If I'm in a jujitsu class, I'll drop down to the ground with him. The tool we're using is Haraka Jame. The process of me achieving it is what makes it an uncontested technique. time I grab is when I do this. That was right there. And that was how your chin just lifted up. Now I got your windpipe. See it? Before I had now I got your windpipe. <laughs> Yeah. 